Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at grading a shot where the lighting conditions change drastically. This would be a great technique to use on any sort of one shot music videos you have or any other sort of one shot stuff and you don't feel like lighting up your whole scene. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So here we've got a simple enough shot. But as we scroll through, sorry, this is a pretty heavy piece of footage, so it might be a little bit stuttery. We walk off. Oh, look how behind the scenes -y and meta we're getting. What? And see, now it gets darker. You know, it could be fine like this. But you see, we go from these tungsten lights to sort of daylight y to these little bit warmer than tungsten lights. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So first of all, we'll say we're coming from a grade that looks pretty normal. So I could actually grade it, but I'm just going to be lazy and I'm going to use a quick LUT. This is basically just giving it some contrast and saturation. See, my white balance is a little bit off there. So I will go ahead and correct that. Add some blue, take away some green. That's looking pretty nice. Bring the gamut down just up. Beautiful. So now we're looking pretty good there. So we'll say that's our first grade. And we could do this two ways. We could either shift between whole actual grades, but that's a lot of work. Or we could just add a little correction since Resolve works at a floating point. We're not losing detail, which is one of the great things about Resolve. So what we'll do is we'll scroll through and we'll say, okay, we're looking good. And then probably about here is where we'll start to make our transition. So go over to our keyframes window. And for that, add a new serial node. And this will be where our correction change happens. So corrector two, we will go ahead and add a turn on keyframing, add a dynamic keyframe. And then we will scroll through until our scene's pretty much all the way changed. So we'll call it about there. So see our blacks are a little bit black, dark's a little dark, color's a little bit green, I would say. So we'll go ahead and bring up the gamma, gain, lift, not quite that much. I guess a little bit nasty. So just do a little bit. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of noise there, so I will even turn on just a little bit of cheap noise reduction. So we go through there, and now, so that's about the end of that scene. So I'll go ahead and add another dynamic keyframe and we'll scroll through. And now here, we'll go ahead and change this up a little bit. We don't need to make it perfect. We just make it a little bit less blah. So we'll add some reds in our highlights, take away some blues, take away a little bit of green. That's a little bit much. So we'll bring some green and blues back in and take some red back away. Just want to do a little bit. Now for this, we can probably crunch our blacks back down just a smidgen. Be about there. And let's see what we can do with our gamma. Yeah, we'll go to about there. So that's looking pretty nice. And now we'll do another little change here. We'll kind of keep the gamma going down throughout that scene. And we'll continue to sort of warm it up. And then in our next shot, there we go. Now we can make it back to being on the cooler side. Some green back in, take some reds down, some blues back in, probably even do some in the mid-tones to make it extra fun. So that's looking fine. That's a little bit purpley. So why the heck not? We'll go ahead and go to Hue Saturation, drop one there and one there. Pull this down just a smidgen, and that helps out. Good little bit right there. And we'll also brighten it up a bit. So there's that and that. And we'll add a little bit more contrast. And then we'll keep scoot and forward. And darks are getting a little bit, a little bit washed out there. So bring it down a little bit more. So it's a little bit rich. There we go. To balance that out, I'll bring the gamma up a bit, the gain up a bit. Beautiful. And now we got it. So without that node, it looks like that. And with our correction, it looks a lot more even. So just like that, 
You know, it took a little bit of time, but way easier than lighting the scene. And you can still always go through. Yeah, look at that. Way better. And now since we did all of this in one node, we can still do other grading things. So I can change label and be like dynamic grade. Oop. Uh, you put an E at the end of grade. Don't tell anyone. Do shift S. And we'll say we want a vignette also. So drop one of those on there. Beautiful. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meese New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, be sure to check out MeeseNewMedia.com slash products where we have the House Lutz pack and the Bright Light Sight League pack, both of which make everything easy and wonderful. Be sure to share this video with your friends so they can see how smart you are color grading stuff and not just applying magic bullet looks to stuff. You're actually like going through and doing work. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.